You see her every weekday on The View just before ABC 36 News at noon. And we are so pleased to have joining us today via satellite host Sherry Shepard. Thank you for being with us today. Hey, how are you? Good. Now, we love watching you on The View. All our viewers uh, check in with you and the other ladies every <laughs> week. And we learn a lot about you. But one thing that people may not know, especially here in Kentucky, our viewers who have, uh, we have a huge issue with diabetes in this state. You are a diabetic as well. I am diabetic. I was diagnosed in 2007 with type 2 diabetes. And at the time, it was just like a death sentence. I thought, oh, my gosh, I'm going to get my foot cut off. I'm going to die. My son was two years old at the time. And I realized if I wanted to be around for my son to walk down the aisle, you know, to graduate from college, uh, which he is going to do. He doesn't know he's going to college, <laughs> but he is to graduate that I needed to make a change in my in my eating. I needed to start exercising because I didn't want to die. Now, um, as I mentioned, diabetes is a huge problem in the state of Kentucky, so so many of our viewers can identify with getting that diagnosis. And then, of course, the first thing people think, what can I eat? What am I going to have to do to change my diet? How have you approached that? Well, I had to, you know, one of the things that was, oh, was such a bummer was I gave up a lot of stuff that I really, really liked. And one of the things that I love, I don't know about you, is if I was going through anything, a big bowl of pasta and a fork would cure a lot of what I was feeling. <laughs> Man problems, pasta and a fork, because they put you in a euphoric state. But as a diabetic, a euphoric state is not good at all. And so one of the things I had to give up my favorite uh, pesto pasta, which is right in front of me, and I had to start eating healthy and managing my life and eating healthy which made me feel better. I was able to come off the diabetic medication, being type 2 diabetic. But I found this product, which I'm so excited about, is Dreamfield's Pasta. And I stayed away from pasta for as long as I could because diabetics have to watch the carb count and the sugar count in their food. And most pasta has a lot of carbs. But Dreamfield's Pasta only has 5 grams of digestible carbs. It's got 5 grams of fiber. So even if you're not diabetic, everybody needs fiber in their diet. So I pricked my finger. It was at a, it was at a, a, a stable blood sugar level. I ate the pasta. I pricked my finger again two hours later and it had risen slightly. It wasn't all crazy off the charts, which is I was so scared of because everybody said eat whole wheat pasta. I don't know about you, girl. Whole wheat pasta is nasty to me. It tastes like <laughs> grain and sand and like I should be on the beach. And I can't eat whole wheat pasta. So when I ate this, it was so nice to see that my blood sugar level had only gone up slightly. And I said, oh, my goodness, I can eat pasta. So I have to eat it moderately and I'll have it with a salad and I can eat it with my son. And that excites me. I still don't have a man, but I can eat my pasta. <laughs> Well, you, you'll, you'll find him. You'll find him. Well, speaking of uh, significant others and those that uh, you love in your life, you also want to tell us about uh, DFFs. We know what BFFs are, but tell us how this DFF thing works. Yeah, DFFs is a little different. different. It's, it's DFF is a diabetic friend forever. And so Dreamfields Pasta has a website called diabetesfriendforever.com. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you can go on this website. And what's so wonderful is if you don't know if you're diabetic, it gives you the signs of how you can tell if you're diabetic. If you are diabetic, it gives you tips on how to manage your life every single day. And what I what I also love about this website is there's a contest running that Dreamfields Pasta has, and you can nominate your DFF. So if it's somebody in your life who's just made a difference on the journey that you're on, if it's your best friend, if it's your teacher, your pharmacist, anybody that's just helping you, you know, stay true to to you know managing your life. My DFF is my four-year-old son, Jeffrey, because I want to be here for him. And my other DFF is my trainer. I call him the evil one because I think that's a very fitting and appropriate name for someone who tries to kill you every day on a treadmill. <laughs> so those are my DFFs, but they keep me going. And you can nominate your DFF in the contest. And if they win, Dreamfield Pasta, will, you will acknowledge them. And they win a lot of great cash prizes. And, and they can win my book. And you can get the recipe to my, my pesto pasta. But what I love is you get cash. So in this day and age, if you're going to thank somebody, thank them with some cash. So it's a great contest. It's on DiabetesFriendsForever.com. And it's just a very wonderful interactive site for people with diabetes. Or if you don't know if you got diabetes, you can go on and check it out. Well, it has been a pleasure speaking with you today, Sherry. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again on The View right before our news. Thank you.